Hello everyone, it's Petko Aleksandrov and welcome to our trading channel. In today's video I'll be showing you how to perform a backtest on MetaTrader 5, which is slightly different from MetaTrader 4. That's why I decided to record this video and if you don't want to miss any future videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And let's go for it. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to perform a backtest on MetaTrader 5. I will do it for the strategy for Tesla that I have been using. I have the indicators over the chart. I have the EA attached on the chart as well. But what actually I need to do is to go to view and hit on strategy tester. Okay, a new window will open below the toolbox with a few tabs. One is settings and this is from where we need to set it up. And it's very easy. Usually it should fill automatically according to what we have on the chart. If it doesn't, you need to select your symbol from right over here. The expert that you want to test, what time frame. And then if you want to use the entire history that you have or if you want to select any custom period, you can do that as well. Just hit on custom period and these two boxes will become editable. So I will go back just to entire history. And then we have the option to do some forward testing, which I'm not going to do. Then below, very important, is the modeling, okay? We have open prices only if the strategy works on the opening of the bar and this strategy works on the opening of the bar. So when the new bar opens, the strategy checks for entry and exit conditions. So I will leave it this way. If you want to test any other strategy that uh, uses stick, or it do some math calculations, you should be selecting different option. But for the purpose of this video, I will stick to open prices only. Then you have the initial balance. You can start with any amount. You can go for 10,000, you can go for 100,000. The leverage that you are using, you can change it from here. And then the last option is to use optimization or not to use optimization. So basically here I will not be using optimization and be careful when you are optimizing strategies because you can over optimize them. Okay. When you are doing optimization, simply you will force the optimizer to find the most appropriate parameters for your strategy based on the tested period. And we have the risk to over optimize the strategy or to make it kind of too perfect or too good to be true, right? So I really don't suggest you do optimization unless you have the experience for it. Then I have the option to check or uncheck visual mode, but let me check it and I will click on start and a new tab will open. Here it is and it does visual trading and I can decrease or increase the speed from right over here. And it's already done. You can see that if I tap on trade, we have like 1 million pips. And then in history, we can see clearly where the stop loss was for all of uh, the positions. We started in this case from 2010. This is how much data it is available with the broker that I have selected over the chart. And one more time, I've mentioned that already in my videos if you want to pull historical data from your chart you just need to press the home key on your chart you just go to the symbol and press the home key and it will load as maximum data as you have and this is uh, good to be done before you actually perform the back test okay then are the operations so here i can see where the trades were actually opened at what price? So in 2010, the price of Tesla was three, four dollars. And if I scroll slowly down, you can see how the price increased. But these are all the trades that happened with or that were executed with this expert advisor. Now, one thing 
that I find as a disadvantage compared to MetaTrader 4 is that we have two separate tabs for history or here we can see where the stop loss was this strategy doesn't use take profit and in a separate tab we have the open price at the stop loss so it's not on one tab as it is on MetaTrader 4 which makes it a little bit more confusing if you're using it for a first time right so if you want to compare one trade you need to go from one tab to another one which is not really uh, very comfortable depends on what you want to do okay so this is how we perform the bath test and we have this strategy tester visualization but if you want to see actually what was the performance you need to go to backtest and here you will see some statistics that we have from the strategy such as uh, balance uh, drawdown, expected payoff, we have profit factor of above 1.81 which is pretty good so profit factor is all the profits divided by all the losses and we have some more statistics below which I'm not going into details but MetaTrader 5 has more statistics compared to what MetaTrader 4 offers, okay? And of course, very interesting as well is the graph. So right here, we can see what is uh, the graph of the strategy. And obviously, in the recent months, the market was very volatile for Tesla. We have some more movements and some more results. You can see that actually it did a fantastic profit during these volatile times. Now I prefer to backtest the strategies with the Expert Advisor Studio because it's much easier. I don't need to switch between so many different tabs and it's a more professional software. We see the strategy itself, so here it is. You see the entry indicators, moving averages, the alligator, we have the moving average crossover as an exit indicator, and the balance chart is just the same if you compare it. It's just on a different size window, but let's compare a few trades. So if I go to journal, this is where I see all the trades that happened. As you can see that it's all on one place, not in different tabs. So let me go to the end and I will just look at the most recent trades. So let me make the strategy tester visualization a little bit smaller and I will look for example any of the trades okay let's pick randomly something that it will be easy to recognize okay on the 20th of april we have at 5 pm a buy order and the stop loss was 680.55 okay 20th of april at 5 pm we have a buy or open long and the price was 730.75 and the stop loss was 680.55 let me go to operations and i will look for it right over here here it is this is uh, the open price it could be a small difference in the opening price because of uh, the spread but it's the same trade it matches it opened at the same time and if you look at the next one, what happened next is we had the closing of the trade at 21.15, which here is recognized as a sell, okay? Because obviously when we buy, the closing of this position is a sell order. So in MetaTrader, it is displayed as sell. And uh, it was at the price of 715.57 here the closing is at 715.57 okay so it matches and probably something you can notice is if i switch from history to operations is that i don't see the result okay the final result i cannot see it which is the most important when we are back testing that's one of the reasons i prefer to use the back tester on ea studio as well on EA Studio we can see very clearly the indicator chart where the trades were open and closed and this is super useful when you have a strategy 
okay for example let me scroll randomly around this strategy here it is i have a short trade that opened here and it was closed over here then right here i have another short trade starting from here closing right over here then we have a losing short trade you can see how much statistics we have and as well in the journal are all the trades that open and close so if i compare them obviously i prefer to use ei studio because it is a professional tool for backtesting and analyzing strategies however MetaTrader 5 offers a good backtest. You see that it matches with EA Studio, the professional software I use. Just a few disadvantages, probably because I'm used with EA Studio and I am more used to MetaTrader 4 because I've been using it for many years for Forex trading. Here it's a little bit difficult to follow the trades because they are on different tabs. And in the main page where we have the settings, we have the inputs of the strategy, we have the backtest statistics, one more time, which are more compared to what MetaTrader 4 offers. So that's an advantage of MetaTrader 5 compared to MetaTrader 4. And then we have the graph and then we have the optimization if you decide to optimize the strategy, which one more time, I'm not suggesting you to do, especially if you're a beginner, because you're taking the risk to over-optimize the strategy. But to make it super simple here at the end of this video, if you want to backtest a strategy on your broker, this is how you can do it. Go to view, open the strategy tester and set it up all you need to set up is the expert the symbol the time frame and the modeling which in this case with uh, the ea studio strategies we use open prices only okay then you hit on start and you will see the back test and the graph or simply said you will see if this strategy was profitable until the moment. Why I say it was? Because we tested on uh, historical data, okay? It doesn't guarantee that this strategy will perform profitably in the future. But as I like to say, it is much more compared to if we don't have a robot to backtest, okay? If we have just a manual strategy, we don't have that. We cannot clearly see if this strategy was profitable from 2010 until the moment in April 2021. All right, so this is how the backtester works on MetaTrader 5 and you saw the difference with EA Studio. All right, so if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll be super happy to assist you about backtesting at a stock trading strategy or any forex strategy, cryptocurrency, no matter what it is, it works the very same way on MetaTrader 5. As well, EI Studio comes with a 15 days free trial on our website at EA Trading Academy. You can find it right on the top. It says software at that expert advisor studio. You can test out uh, the trial period and during this time you can backtest as many strategies as you wish or you can generate new strategies. Check out the help section so you will learn more about the software. It's a great experience and you will learn more about backtesting strategies and trading with expert advisors. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you have enjoyed it, thumbs up. And I wish you always to enjoy trading. Cheers.